tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. You have any tips for us how we can effectively surrender our prayer intentions or the things that we would like to demonstrate? Because I'm learning that as I do this over time, the universe will find a way to... I'm not sure if it's testing your patience, but I noticed that if I surrender a particular intention for a, for a particular uh, situation in my life, in another intention, it feels as though I am being called to surrender a different way. What's your take on it, Dr. Stephen? Well, really, really good questions, really good observations, Rav Raj. And, and everybody else looking in, I'm following the chat too. That's why you see me looking away from time to time. You know, we, we first of all, we have to remember that surrender does not mean to give up. Mm -hmm. What we're really surrendering is our, our, our ego or our limited human perspective point of view to the grand greater vision. Everything's already been created. Yeah. It's, our good is already there. What the challenge is, is what you, you demonstrate happens in so many people. We have a law of gestation and that means mm -hmm. how long things take. And yeah. what we, what we're, we're, you're actually talking about is our attachment to outcome. We have to yeah. surrender our attachment to the outcomes to see things rightly, to see things with clarity, because there will be elements in our lives that move in to support us and they will not look like anything that we saw as showing up to support us. But remember the universe, it's always action that we take and reaction, action, mm -hmm. reaction. The reaction is what most people call the law of attraction the how showing up but it's yeah. acting so it's staying it's staying being diligent and deliberately holding on to thoughts of what we do want but here's the key to answer your question specifically most people think of what they want yeah they don't think from what they want now i'm getting into a little bit neville goddard here but really we have to come from it because it already is if we could think the thought if we can create it on the canvas of our mind using the palette that we we draw with from our spiritual level our spiritual consciousness if we can create it in our imagination it is already so it's yeah. already there so what is happening is in this invisible realm we're really moving non-form into form and it will happen. Yeah. That's what we have to surrender to. We have to surrender to the process, the, the law of gestation, and just know it'll be so as we continue to walk in the en energy of it, despite outward appearances. Quit, quit yes. checking the scoreboard. Quit looking at the pot of water to see if it's boiling yet. It will be so. You blink your eyes and it's like, today and I do it all the time. Oh my God. we. It was yesterday, we were just living in Detroit. It was freezing cold. We're skidding in the snow and the ice and the rain. And now we're living on the Gulf of Mexico. Oh my God. Mm. But wow. we, we held the vision of that. We yes. held the vision of it. We modeled and demonstrated that. And say to artists, Dr. Stephen, who are not sure how to share their gifts under these circumstances. Well, I can only guess what circumstances that you're talking about and perhaps that's uh with covid or or being in or or something like that um but you, you know the answer is really in the question not sure how to share share the gifts under the circumstances well what are the circumstances don't don't we don't look to circumstances we don't look to circumstances conditions and events we create our own we create our own um I'm with a, a small group that's that has sprung from PGI called MSI Connect. MSI stands for Multiple Streams of Income, but we have people in this group from all over the world and, and people are welcome to join. I can post a link later, um, but we have several artists in there. And what do artists do? Artists create, right? Artists create and artists share. Sit down with a pad and a paper 
and start making a list. How can I share right now from where I am? You can, yeah. you can have your work, you can do videos on YouTube displaying your artwork, assuming that it's paintings or drawings or something like that or photography or whatever. There are so many platforms now and so many more people involved. The opportunity for an artist to share their work is, is far bigger than the traditional way that it used to be done with physical art shows at a gallery somewhere. You know, yeah. Yeah, maybe you can't do that right now, but what other statement to them, especially if they're a bit uh, cynical? Well, you know, the, the way that we went win over others if that's what we're trying to do, but we don't really win other people over. We just model and demonstrate the truth that we know. You know, yeah. for those of you out there that are are looking in and, and maybe you follow unity or, or some other, you know, metaphysical practice, but you know, unity, the fifth unity principle says through thoughts, words, and actions, we live, we live the truth we know. If we're mm -hmm. living it every day, that means to model and demonstrate it. We're living in our truth. When we're living in our truth and our good is showing up for us in our lives constantly, you know, all the critics that chatter will settle down because they're saying, oh, wow, they don't they don't talk and and belittle me and 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 cut me down or put me down. They just go on living their lives on their positive path. And it looks like they're doing pretty doggone good. Maybe I should shut up and listen to them a little bit. And another thing that we can do in our time of, of prayer and meditation is remember what we're doing when we guard our thoughts is we're seeing things rightly. People will respond to how we see them. So a question you could ask yourself, how does this, this family member, this other person that are, are not in the circle that I'm in or studying the same things I do, how does God see them? Yeah. How are wow. they a very powerful so you see the highest vision from them, from them. Mm -hmm. And rather than lowering your frequency and vibration and, and playing on their level, you're raising it up and you're seeing them as the representation, the expression of the divine that they truly are. And guess what? Yeah. Most people will rather than want to keep bringing you down, they'll rise to that, you know, through being a person of increase, by being a person that compliments others sincerely, not flattery, but by really by by lifting others up in a kind mm -hmm. and loving way and seeing that spark of divinity in them, they're going to rise to that. And it might not yeah. happen overnight, but you have to continually to see things rightly. Yeah, I love that, Dr. Stephen. And I know that it takes a lot of discipline. Anything that you would like to say as final words to our guests? Well, you know, hang in there. Because what's the what's the alternative? If you keep focusing on, on, hey, I'm waiting. If you keep focusing on what's not showing up. If you give up. What's the alternative? Mm -hmm. To go back on focusing on what you do want? So stay the course. Always stay the course. Knowing that when you're involved in this way of life and living, it just becomes so natural to you and your goodness your riches your abundance just seem to to flow because you're in the flow you're in harmony with the universe with the energy that you're made of that you're immersed in and you're cooperating with it rather than fighting it all the time remember when there's resistance you know we have a problem we cause us that friction and and things wear out so when we go with the flow and we're just always in that energy of creation and working on the positive side of the coin, things are going to be much better. I think we just need to continue this conversation with and do more shows. I really yeah. encourage you to have maybe Tanae can come on solo one of these days and, and yeah. share it from her perspective because she's very wise around uh, so much of this and, and has her own incredible story too because you know that little tiny thing maybe she can do a screen share next time because that little tiny thing you saw used to be really really big so she can share more about <laughs> the story but in any yes. way anybody can thank reach you so out much my email and, and we'll be glad to, to talk to them off off the off the show too and uh, help move them from where they are to where they want to be you know that's what I do yes thank you so much Dr. Stephen and before I wrap up I just want to read some things, Graham. And if you look at the course offering, it's very affordable. Yes. 
And I want to thank the following as well, artist Angel, Dr. Anita Caprice, uh, Dr. Diana Vihuni, Transcend to Transform, Dr. Cindy Palos. I was in her show earlier. And I also want to thank Metaphysical Media Network for having me um, earlier, uh, Perspective Metaphysics by Dr. Yolanda Dukes. And at the same time, Jennifer Hill, you can watch her in LA Talk Radio and get yourself the job. And Dr. Kathleen Riley from HeartMath Institute. So thank you all for tuning in. And at the same time, I just want to invite everyone for a simple unity affirmation for protection. Please gently close your eyes and take a deep breath in and exhale. And together, let's affirm the light of God surrounds us, the love of God enfolds us, the power of God protects us, the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well. Satnam, everyone. Thank you again for tuning in to V81 Radio and for Practical Magic. Dr. Stephen, it was a pleasure to have you again on the show. And I trust that I'm going to have you and Tene again in our next episodes in the next coming season. Satnam, and thank you to my co-producer, Sir Oli, Sir Charlie, Abby, Ralph, and also Jason and Real. Uh, uh, Dean and at the same time Dax uh, we're here for you so I hope you're still watching the show Satnam everyone Stay tuned for the next episode Only here on V81 Radio Manila